these kids chose. Fighting childhood obesity is something really important and an epidemic in our community. Uh, I'm a fellow Rotarian and I wanted to be here to show you know, my support and what I think is a great program. I'm both an LA Rotarian and a person who works in LAUSD and tries to help in projects like this. Obesity has been a problem and we need to help or stop it. Since the 1990s, it wasn't a big issue. Only like 6% of people were, of, of, of teens were obese. That's a 233% increase. You know the pictures on the ice cream truck? We could show what kind of calories are under the, the picture. Kids our age will, be, will, will hang out and stuff, um, stuff in their faces with junk food like so, such as burgers, fries, soda, etc. Jennifer, what does obesity mean to you? Well, obesity for me is people that are overweight, that don't have that kind of body, like, yeah. What? That chunky kind of thing. How does Los Angeles and downtown Los Angeles compare to the rest of the world in terms of this problem? Oh, we are at the forefront of this problem. We are at the, at, not even at the tip of the iceberg, we're at the very, very tip. To me, obesity means not being able to fit in and not being able to go outside and be free without having anybody stare at you. Uh, we could actually like make a program where they could where they could hang out after school and actually do some exercise there, hang out with their friends. These young people want to do something to affect their community. They should be our true agents of change. So what they can do is kind of figure out what's in their environment, what kind of food is available where I live, in my school, in my after school program, and in my home. Hi Jackie. Hello. Abusing it means to me is like um, having like for my problems of health and people constantly um, picking on you. Really? Like what kind of people will pick on you? Like you know, like pick, like kids are chunky. You know, kids are like, oh my god, you're fat now. This, you know. I know you're like. Hi. So what does obesity mean to you? Um, not being um able to go out in public and show my legs because I think they're too fat. So people don't like to get out because of low confidence, is that right? Yes, because, well, obesity, like, brings your self-esteem down. What does obesity mean to you? Exercising and not wearing your, the favorite clothes you like to wear. Yeah, and not, like, eat, not eating healthy, eating pure food that is not healthy for you. Being obese affects these kids socially. A child who's overweight and how do they feel about themselves and how they feel about their future gives them the tools so that they can help reverse their own obesity. Do you think obesity is a big problem in this country? Um, obesity is one of the leading causes of death in this country. What do you see more in TV, um, junk food or healthy food? Oh, junk food, absolutely. What are some ways we can prevent childhood obesity? Uh, well, uh, the one way you and I can prevent it, you know, is uh, by eating the right types of food, you know, um, have uh, your parents cook you uh, food at home or, or choose foods at home. How many hours a day should a student have physical activity? Uh, really anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour would be ideal. Why do you think um, exercising is really good for students? Preventing a lot of diseases, uh, uh, heart disease and even cancers and a lot of different diseases and the big one uh, today is diabetes. What do you think that your children should work on during school hours? Um, they need to work on physical fitness and learning to um, enjoy sports so that they continue to do it for as a lifetime activity. Do you think kids here in, in Belmont are getting enough exercise? Why or why not? No, I don't think that uh, they are getting enough exercise. Uh, we could do a lot better. What does PT mean? PT is physical training, where you go out uh, jumping jacks, uh, exercising, running uh, at least a mile to three miles. We learn a, a lot about BC today. We need you and other sponsors who would like to help us will make this happen. In real life, there is no reset buttons, but with your help, we could beat this game. But in the end, to some people, it's a nightmare, but to others, it's a harsh reality. Thank you.